when I was a young man in, the, in my parents' house, there was a man who five, six, seven o'clock in the morning, he will pass by and he will shout, Prensa, Prensa Libre. This means uh, free press, free press. And this was uh, a newspaper that he was announcing, he was declaring, he was making publicity. He will exalt newspaper so that people may come to him and he will buy the newspaper. I think it costs maybe 10 cents in those days. Now, he was an, a herald that he will go to the streets. He will go to the um, publishing house. He will take the newspaper and he will walk shouting in our neighborhood and he will sell the newspaper. That's exactly what it means Keruso in the Greek language of the New Testament. Keruso is someone who goes out, announces, invites, declares, exalts, convokes people to himself so that everybody could hear the news. This man, when I was a young man in my country, started a small interconflict. And he would shout things like, uh, people got shout, uh, sh shoot, people got hurt, and so on. Because the situation was a difficult time. Now, if you look into the Bible, in the Gospel of Mark, for instance, in the first verses, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, you will find twice that you will find this word, preaching, preaching that John the Baptist came preaching and he will preach. Actually, Jesus comes also preaching, teaching, healing, will say the Gospel of Mark. And this is really what it means. If you take these two peoples, you will see that their work was to announce the coming of the kingdom of God. They will convoke people to hear the Gospel they will have this assembly, this desired assembly, so that people will hear the good news. They will exalt God. They will do something of this nature so that people will be able to hear. Now, many people will say that it's better to preach with our acts. Uh, the tree is known by its fruits. But Jesus Christ was not crucified just because of his acts. He was crucified because of his words, because he said that the Father and himself, we are one, he said. So we must consider, yes, to do good works and to have a good behavior, uh, a good attitude, to do good deeds, but let us not forget the importance of preaching. How could they know if nobody tells them? Someone has to preach them. Someone has to tell them. So we are called to do that in the first sense. Jesus Christ, he said, go out and preach, teach what I have taught you, what you have heard. You do that and you heal the sick. Acts, you see. Uh, this is what we're called to do. So look into John, look into Jesus Christ, and you will get a grasp of what really Preaching means in the New Testament, Keruso. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, to share my videos, and to like my videos. Until next time.